Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another week of our Gospel Reflections. And this week we start with the dedication of the Lateran Basilica, and I'll speak to this in a moment. But let's begin our time of prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And today's Gospel is going to be from John, and it's chapter 2, verses 13 to 22. Just before the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And in the temple, he found people selling cattle and sheep and pigeons, and the money changers sitting at their counters there. Making a whip out of some cord, he drove them all out of the temple, cattle and sheep as well, scattered the money changers' coins knocked their tables over and said to the pigeon sellers, take all this out of here and stop turning my father's house into a market. Then his disciples remembered the words of scripture, zeal for your house will devour me. The Jews intervened and said, what sign can you show us to justify what you have done? Jesus answered, Destroy this sanctuary, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews replied, It has taken 46 years to build this sanctuary. Are you going to raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the sanctuary that was his body. And when Jesus rose from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this. And they believed the scripture and the words he had said. The Gospel of the Lord. As I mentioned earlier, today we celebrate the feast of the dedication of the Lateran Basilica. And it might seem strange that we're pausing in our general calendar and in the life of our church, we're celebrating a building. So just a bit of background for you. The Lateran Basilica, which you see in the photo beside me, was built by the Emperor Constantine on Lateran Hill in Rome about the year 324. And the feast of its dedication, that which we celebrate today, has been celebrated from about the 12th century. In honour of the Basilica, which is described as the mother and head of all churches, of the city and the world, the city of Rome and a universal world in which we live. We simply celebrate this feast as a sign of unity and love. So with this in mind, we might simply call to mind all those intentions that we have in our hearts and we're mindful through the celebration of this feast that when we offer prayer in the church, that prayer is joined to all the other parishes, churches, dioceses, and goes all the way around the world as part of our one family. And that's part of the heart of what we celebrate today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thanks for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Till then, take care, and God bless. Mm -hmm.